each of these letters transforms into an animal or an insect. Are you excited to try it? Let's go. Let's start with the letter A. This letter A is green. In Spanish, green is verde. Okay, we open it up. Oh, there are two legs here. I'm gonna pop those down. I wonder what animal this is. And the back opens up. Oh, it looks like that's a tail. Okay, so I put the back down. And then there's the head. It's a stegosaurus. Wow. The letter A stands for apple. That's a squirrel eating that apple. Let's look at the letter B now. Yellow in Spanish is amarillo. This letter B is amarillo. Hmm, as we open each piece, I see legs and arms. Okay, there's a foot I can turn. Oh, I think this is a tail. And then that's the back. Oh, look, inside of the back is the head. Oh, I know what that is. It's a Tyrannosaurus. We also call it a T-Rex. The letter B stands for bear. A bear can roar really loud. Let's look at the letter C now. This C is red. In Spanish, red is rojo. Okay, so the sides open up and it looks like these bottoms open up to legs, okay. And then the top, oh, it looks like that's a tail. I think I have it upside down. Oh no, that's the head. It has wings and little arms. It's a pteranodon. A pteranodon was a flying reptile. It didn't have any teeth. C is for cat, meow. The letter D is next. This D is blue. In Spanish, blue is azul. Now let's open up this letter D and see what we have. Hmm, the legs, it looks like it has four legs. Okay. And if I open up the back, it has a long neck. I think I know what this is. And the tail, it's a brontosaurus. The letter D stands for dog. That dog looks like he's going on vacation. Next is the letter E. Let's open it up and see what we have. The sides open. It looks like that might be the back. And then the legs drop down. I wonder if it has feet in there. Hmm. Oh, there's a head. And there's a tail. It's an ankylosaurus. It had a wide armored skull. E is for elephant. Those elephants like to get muddy. Our next letter is F. Let's see if I open up this end and, oh, the sides open up. Those look like wings. And if I pop the head up, okay. Here are some feet. Those are some pretty big wings. It's a pterodactyl, one of the largest flying dinosaurs. And that's a fish. F is for fish. The letter G is orange. Orange in Spanish is anaranjado. That's a big word. Let's see if I open up the sides. It look like, looks like these are four legs. And there's a tail when I open up the back. And then this looks like the head pops out. Hey, it's a Triceratops. Triceratops has two main horns. And our letter G is for goat. That's a baby goat, a cute baby goat. Now we have the letter H. This is light blue. In Spanish, that's azul celeste. Now let's open up the letter H and see what we have. Uh, that looks like feet, and on the side, those look like really big hands. And then that's the stomach. And that's the head. 
Okay. And the sides go in like that. It's a gorilla! A gorilla is one of the stockiest animals with a broad chest. H is for happy. Look how happy those kids are. Our next letter is I. It's purple, and in Spanish, that's morado. Let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, the sides pop open. It looks like they're long legs. Hmm, what animal has two long legs? And then here are two more legs. They're long too. And they pop down like this. And it has little feet. It's a deer! A deer is one of the few animals that can grow antlers. I is for iceberg. That looks really cold. Next is the letter J. I wonder what we have inside the letter J. Okay, these are legs and feet. Okay, the feet pop down. And it has front two feet. Oh, and little claws. Oh, it has claws. And then the tail. Okay, that's open. I put the back on. I wonder where the head is. Oh, there it is. Hey, that's an alligator. It has a large head and a lizard-like body. J is for jellyfish. Don't touch a jellyfish, it'll sting you. Our next letter is K. I can't wait to open this one up and see what we have. Okay, the sides open up and legs drop down. Oh, it has two more legs. Okay, so we know it has four legs and a little tail and it has horns. It's a bull. Bulls are much more muscular than cows. K is for kangaroo. Next is the letter L. Pink in Spanish is rosado. This letter L is rosado. Hmm, it looks like it has a long neck and really long legs. Two long legs, does it have more? It does. There are the other two legs. I know what that is. It's a giraffe. Giraffes are the world's tallest animals. L is for lion. They're the only cats that live in groups. Our next letter is M. Hmm. It looks like these are the legs on the side. And I think those are big ears that are coming down. What's that under there? It's a trunk. I know what animal this is. It's an elephant. Yep, there are the big legs in the back. Elephants are herbivores. They eat a range of plants, including grasses and fruit and roots. M is for monkey. They're very intelligent animals. And now we have the letter N. Okay, are you ready to find out what's inside? Here we go. It looks like it... Is this going to be a leg? Yep, it's a leg. And there's another one. And I'll bet there are two more. Okay, it looks like it has... Oh, that's the tail. It's a jaguar! That's the largest cat in America. N is for net. That looks like a soccer ball net. And now we have the letter O. Oh, I can't wait to see what's inside. Okay, it looks like it has lots of legs. Skinny legs at the bottom here. And claws. Okay, it looks like it has claws on the top. It's a crab. And the letter O is for owl. Owls have big eyes to see in the dark. Our next letter is P. Let's open it up. Let's start here. Okay, looks like it also has 
claws as I open those up. Ooh, it looks like it has pinchers. And with a long tail, looks like they move. There's the tail. I know, it's a scorpion. They're arachnids that have eight legs, like their cousins, the spiders. And P is for porcupine. They're rodents with needle-like spikes. Okay, let's look at the letter Q. Opening it up, it looks like it has a long tail also, and some claws, and a weird tail. What is this? Oh, it's a lobster. Lobsters have five pairs of legs. And Q stands for question mark. Now, let's look at the letter R. This one is blue. If I open it up, oh, okay, it looks like these two pieces come together. And the sides pop down. Oh, it looks like those are fins. And a big, thick head. Oh, it's a shark. Sharks can be very scary. The letter R stands for reptile. That's an iguana. And now we have the letter S. Let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, this little flap comes open and that's the head. Looks like it has a long nose. And this part is a part of the back. It looks like this is the tail and it opens up. Oh, this rolls out and then it comes together. Oh, it's a seahorse. They're named like that because their head is in the shape of a horse. And S is for swan. They're water birds with heavy bodies and long necks. Here we go with the letter T. Okay, looks like these sides open up and they go up to the top and the top comes together to make a long head. Oh, it looks like there's lots of legs or tentacles. Yeah, they look like tentacles. Oh, I think I can see what this is. It's a squid. Squid are related to octopus, except they have 10 arms instead of eight. And T is for tiger. Can you roar really loud like a tiger? Good job. The letter U. Okay, this one's gonna be a fun surprise, I feel. These tops come open. The sides pop down, okay. Are they wings? I don't know. And then this part pops up. Oh, it looks like that's a long tail. Oh, and it has a beak. I think that's a chicken. They're the most common birds on earth. Yep, it's a chicken. And the letter U is for unicorn. They may be pretend, but they're so pretty. The letter V, let's open it up and see what we have. Let's see, the side pops open like this. Oh, I wonder if it's another creature with wings. Oh, it has, okay, feet. And then there's the neck. Oh, it looks like an eagle. I don't know yet though. Yep, there's the tail. And it, I'll, I'll bet it could fly. Yep, it's an eagle. The golden eagle has a symbol of power since ancient times. And V is for vegetable. Always make sure you eat your vegetables. Now the letter W. Okay, looks like these, we're gonna start with wings. Looks like it has wings. And this back will open up. Oh, it opens to a tail, a big tail. And where's the head? There's the head. It's a peacock with a beautiful tail. That's W. W stands for water, like waterfall. And now the letter X. 
Okay, I'm gonna pop open this side. It looks like, I wonder if that's a tail or feet? Let's see. And these sides pop open. Oh, and those go together like a long tail. And, oh, these sides pop out like wings. Well, I know it flies, but what is it? It's a dragonfly. It can fly faster than most other insects. X is for xylophone. That's a musical instrument. And now the letter Y. Okay, let's open this up. These, okay, these pop up and it looks like, oh, it has a long tail. And it looks like it has pinchers on the tail and the hands. Hmm. And these sides come out to make even more claws. It's a crab. Crabs have two large eyes that extend from their head. And now the letter Y. Y is for yawn. Our last letter is the letter Z. I wonder what our last letter is gonna be. Okay, so I pop open this top part and it looks like this part's a tail. I wonder if these are legs. Okay. It looks like the legs pop open and, oh, it has a thick tail and that's the head. Oh, it's a praying mantid. They have long necks with triangle heads. They can be pretty big insects. A praying mantid. And that's the letter Z. You know what animal that is, zebra. Thanks for playing with me today. I had a lot of fun and learned the alphabet. Have a great day. Bye.